take this example right now. We're standing here next to each other right now. We're sitting and, and, and we're looking up at a staircase. As we're looking up at that staircase, there's a hundred steps on there. And I say to you, okay, let's climb those hundred steps. And as we're starting to climb those, we look at, you know, how many we can get done in a certain period of time. Well, we know there's a hundred. We were only able to make it through, you know, 40 today. And then all of a sudden tomorrow we do, and we do a, another 40, we're at 80. I only got 20 left. Let's go. Why? Because I could see the finish line. So if I could see the finish line, now I'm going to push myself internally to get back out there and finish that up. And that's just a natural human instinct. But I'm going to leverage that human instinct to go back out there and say, okay, I'm going to push myself and I'm going to get more done. Now I know I hit the 100 steps. I'm done. When are we going to do the 100 steps again? Tomorrow? Nah, I don't need to do them tomorrow. I could do them in two months from now, right? That's done. And now it's not in the back of our mind going, hmm, maybe I should just like randomly jump in there. And this comes back to time blocking. It's all about a system and a process as opposed to kind of just running like a chicken with their head cut off.